الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد اي لهبت في الله we are appalled at what is taking place in pakistan at the hands of taliban deviants and we are appalled at what continually takes place in nigeria by boko haram extremist and we are sickened by what as shabab does in kenya and elsewhere from their wicked and evil ways which are in complete contradiction to islam and islamic values and morals and over the years we have been speaking out against terrorism and terrorists and extremists who attempt to distort the image of islam and in fact paint a portrait for the whole world to look at the muslims as brain blameworthy and as islam being the cause and this wicked ideology of extremism has to be combated with the sunnah of the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam spoke against those wicked devils that performed these acts like what took place in pakistan at the hand of the taliban of actually attacking a school an army a military school so they felt that they were clo coming closer to allah when in fact they were coming closer to the devil and they were doing the commandments of the devil and they had made baya they had made a pact with the devil and they killed children they killed approximately 123 children i believe it was and i likewise boko haram and suicide bombs at high schools and girls schools and whatever else these cowards choose to do and on top of that they have the audacity to claim that it is islam and for years and years we have spoke out against these extremists ahl sunnah is at the forefront the salafiyun are at the forefront speaking about against this kind of wickedness there's no such thing as salafia jihadia there's no such thing as salafia takfiriya there's no such thing even if people like yasser qadi claim this even if the think tanks claim this wicked categories which have nothing to do with islam and the da'wah to ahl sunnah da'wah to salafia which is based upon kitab Allah wa sunnah to rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the madhab of the salaf of this ummah because the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said khairun nas qarni thum alladhina yulunuhum thum alladhina yulunuhum the best people is those of my generation then those who follow them then those who follow them this is what this is the madhab of the salaf it is pristine it comes from the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam it is adhering to his sunnah but the people don't take from the ulama of ahl sunnah they reject the ulama of ahl sunnah and they don't listen to them when our ulama have been speaking out against the taliban for how many 15 years or more they've been speaking out against those people but the shabab the youth and their so called scholars in duat they say no go make bay'ah to the taliban no the taliban are the only one practicing islam no the taliban are the ones upholding an islamic state but now the truth becomes manifest that even those wicked deviants and their deviant ideologies and those people who believed and fell into that trap that hopefully they have if they have any intellect left then they will see that they were wrong and the ulama of ahl sunnah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given them hikmah given them wisdom and their hairs in their beards and their hair upon their head has grown gray with wisdom with years of studying and teaching the book of allah and the sunnah of the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the minhaj of the salaf of this ummah the salaf of salih ridwan allah alayhim This is what our ulama have been tirelessly in pursuit of knowledge and in spreading knowledge. But the people, especially the people of Bid'ah, don't want to 
accept this. Don't want to accept from them. Claim all kind of claims against the ulama of Ahl Sunnah. And this is a wicked, wicked manifestation of that rejection of those ulama and those and their, their fatawa. Ayyullah habitu fillah. No one understand. Islam is free from this devil, devilish dawa. This extremism that we see from us shabab in killing anyone, killing the innocent because they are not Muslim. They take people and they shoot them in the head. The women, the old, the sick, the infirm, they don't care because that's in accordance with their sick ideology. The Prophet Sallallahu said, Al-Khawarij Kilab al nar that the Khawarij, those people who make takfir, without the, the principles of making takfir, they are the dogs of the hellfire. And this is what we see al shabab they are in a constant state of rebellion, they make takfir to anyone who disagrees with them. Likewise, ISIS, and you'll see, we see their brutality. And likewise, Boko Haram, we see their, their, their ignorance is to such a level that they are majnoon, they are insane. And they are worthy of being fought and killed because they will never change their ideology. So until their leaders have their heads severed and until that they are fought and taken out, then we as an ummah, the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa will have to deal with this wickedness and how to deal with this shame. But how do we deal with it? We affirm and plant the flag of Ahl Sunnah and the minhaj of Ahl Sunnah. We teach it, we learn it, we try to practice it, and we go forward with that. Because then you'll have the help of Allah, not the help of the shaitan. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and have mercy upon the children who were slaughtered and mercy upon all the people who are slaughtered at the hands of these extremists. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us all to that which is correct and, and pleasing to him subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.